Welcome to, where are we? <laughs> Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to apply our knowledge to trying to figure out if we can distinguish or resolve a hair laying on the floor. Now, of course, hairs, human hair, there's a lot of variation in the diameter of human hair. It can be as thin as 0.017 millimeters and as thick as 0.18 millimeters. So huge differences in thickness of the human hair. hair. But let's go ahead and see what we're able to resolve. First of all, the angle of resolution can be found by using this equation right here. And so therefore, we can say that the sine of theta is equal to 1.22 times the wavelength in which we observe the, the hair, and that would be visible light. Let's say the wavelength of 500 nanometers divided by the diameter of the aperture and for the human eye the aperture of course varies again but let's say that the aperture is about four millimeters on average so 0 0.004 meters so what is the sine of theta equal to so 1.22 times 500 e to the 9 minus divided by 0 0.004 equals n the sine of theta is equal to 1.525 times 10 to the minus 4, and that would be in terms of radians. All right. Now we we'll go ahead and use the geometry here. The distance from the eye to the hair would be about 1.5 meters. The end of the hair, well, we're going to figure out what we can actually see, and this, of course, would be the angle of theta. And for very small angles, we could say that the sine of theta is approximately equal to the tangent of theta, which in this case are very small angles, so that's definitely true. And the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side, the diameter of the hair, divided by the adjacent side, the distance, or L, to the hair. All right, so now we can solve this for D of the hair. So the diameter of the hair that we're able to resolve is equal to L times the sine of theta. In this case, that would be 1.5 meters times the sine of theta, which is 1.525 times 10 to the minus 4 radians. And let's see, times 1.5 equals, and we can see something in terms of 0 0.229 millimeters. All right, so that is the width of the hair that we'll be able to see standing up on the floor with the right conditions. Notice 0 0.229 millimeters is slightly bigger than the range of the thickness of the human hair. So typically, you would not be able to see human hair laying on the, on the floor unless you bend down and get closer to it and go, ah, there it is. So human hair at the floor from a distance where we're normally standing up is beyond our ability to typically resolve it. Now you say, well, wait a minute, I've seen hair laying on the floor. And that is actually true. The Rayleigh criteria turns out that we can actually resolve something better than this particular angle, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But this is a pretty good approximation to what we're able to resolve and see with the, with the human eye. And it turns out that we cannot do much better than that. And so in most cases, thin hair, you'll not be able to see on the floor. Thick hair, you might be able to see it because for some reason we can actually do a little bit better than this particular number and we'll see in some future video now how to do that. But there is a good example of how to apply our ability to resolve things using these equations. And that's how we do that.